I'm going to show you how to sow terrain chaos in even the flattest of areas. Here I am in ArcGIS Pro with some imagery. I grew up in a little town called Mount Pleasant, Michigan, and it is certainly a misnomer. It's uh, glacially scraped tundras of the northern Midwest. This place is flat. If you put uh, marble on the ground anywhere, it just won't roll. Here is an elevation layer from Living Atlas, terrain elevation. You can see how wildly flat this part of Michigan is. Here is a trick. First, I'm going to open the raster functions and I'll choose Hillshade. I'll point it to my elevation source. I'll just leave all this default. Oh, the result is hmm, interesting. Some slight bumpiness, a little bit of elevation is revealed here. But let's crank this up. I'll open the symbology panel. Okay, now there's two tricks. There's two components to this. The statistics, instead of data set, which is the hill shade of everywhere in the world, which could be, you know, pretty extreme, I'm going to set it to dynamic range adjustment. That means only in this view will it consider the shiniest areas white and the sh shadowiest areas black. So we throw away all that crazy rugged data elsewhere in the world and really let it focus on this very flat place in Michigan. Second part, instead of minimum maximum, this just stretches black to white for shaded to highlighted. We are gonna force some nuance here using statistics, the power of standard deviations. Standard deviation will statistically force these pixels into buckets of shadow and light. Check this out, standard deviation, Oh my goodness. Now the number of standard deviations you use, increase this to bump in some smoothness. Some uh, fine tuning can be done here. Check it out. This is two standard deviations. I'll make it three, four, five, six, whatever you want. Smooth to taste. This looks pretty good to me. So now I'm going to apply a blend mode. Layer blend will mix these tones in with the hues of my imagery. And I'm going to use overlay to do this. Overlay. Oh, and if you're confused, it's because I forgot to turn off my original elevation model. I'll turn this off. And here's the anticlimactic result. Oh my goodness, look at this. Mount Pleasant is mountainous once again. Before, after. Before, after. We've forced terrain into this area using dynamic range and spreading these pixel values across standard deviation groupings within the hill shade. But what if this isn't enough? Okay, I will duplicate this layer by holding the control key and just dragging it to make a, an exact copy. Actually, that's pretty cool too. But I'm showing you another trick in addition to this trick. If you want to, you can duplicate this and just see if it looks good and then leave it there. But I'm gonna do another trick. I'll turn off the blend mode for this and now an old school sort of hack where instead of black to white, fully opaque, gray in the middle, I'll do black to transparent black. And then in the highlight areas, I'll go fully opaque white to transparent white. And because I want to add some nuance in here, I'm going to make this just off white, like a nice creamy yellow or something so it doesn't shout at me. There you go. This is if you really need to turn it up to 11 when it comes to baking terrain into very flat areas. Here's some before afters. Okay. Now I'm going to just group these. So I can conveniently show you crazy hill shade for crazy flat places. And I'll turn my labels on. Let's take a tour of some flat places in the world, shall we? Here is Mount Pleasant, Michigan. Whoa, crazy. The hills are alive. How about Florida? Boy, Florida sure is flat, but not anymore. Look at that karst topography just jumping right up at us. Rugged. Now, does this look cartoonish in areas of actual mountains? Yeah, but this isn't for them. This is for flat areas. Okay, let's travel abroad. My friends in 
the Netherlands would be furious if I left them out of a conversation like this. Bumpy. The Netherlands are so hilly, rugged. Let's zoom in. My goodness, the insanity. What about the Sahara? Yowza, look at that. Oh my goodness, look at those dune formations. How about Musco? Rugged. Rugged. We are forcing ruggedness where there isn't any. Well, I mean, there's a little bit of ruggedness. We're just using statistics to maximize it to our advantage. Okay, try this out. Turn your really flat place into something a little bit less flat if you need to tease out the nuance of the topography of that area. Happy mapping.